Yeah, sure. Uh, very good afternoon to you both. A uh, nice, easy one to start, hopefully. Warren, can you just give us an injury update on where the squad is? Uh, well, we, we announced about Finn Russell, so he's still in the same position. Uh, Owen Farrell has just got a slight abdominal strain. He should be uh, fit for Saturday, uh, which is what the medics are saying. Um, just thinking, that apart from that, a couple of sore bodies, but we're, we're pretty good at, apart from that. Could you also confirm to us one way or another if uh, Marcus Smith has actually arrived with you yet or when you're expecting him? Yeah, just, just had a chat to him in the um, hotel. So he's he's arrived safely. So he said he um, sits pretty well on the second leg. And so we'll just get him up to speed. And uh, there's a good chance that he'll be involved probably in the weekend. And uh, just on Marcus Smith, while uh, we've mentioned him, he's going to have been played for three different teams in the space of two and a half weeks. Uh, can you just explain who's in charge of getting him up to speed? Yeah, well, it's, a big part of that is his role, really. So he'll have to go through the playbooks on the on the laptops over the next few days. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for him. But, you know, he's uh, obviously done exceptionally well this season. And... Uh, yeah, we won't be putting any pressure on him and um, so hopefully he'll get some game time on the weekend. You spoke at the end of the last match about the significance and how important it is that you get some tougher opposition. Is that what you're expecting from South Africa A this week? Yeah, we've just seen the team that they've announced uh, a few minutes ago, so it looks pretty strong. Uh, they've probably gone with as strong as they possibly can. Um, given that they still have some some cases and players unavailable. So yeah, it's going to be a good test for us uh, on Wednesday. And when it comes to your selection for this, Warren, how important was it for you to make sure that everyone's got a couple of starts under their belt before you start thinking about test selection? Yeah, that's uh, that, that's part of it. And uh, spoke to the players, um, some of the players forwards this morning about now in the next couple of games is making the most of the opportunities and, and really uh, now the players would have had a couple of games it's we sort of reiterated just how close some of these selections are going to be and there's going to be some fine margins so you know it's a, it's about going out there and giving it your best and, and making the most of these opportunities because we know there's some really tough calls to make. And if I could just ask one to Connor before letting someone else come in. Uh, Connor, I appreciate uh, for you guys at the moment, tensions may be starting to rise ahead of a test selection on the horizon. What's it like been in training now that you've changed base uh, into Cape Town? And uh, is, is it getting that little bit more exciting perhaps? Yeah, definitely. I think since we've reached Cape Town, I think um, all players are aware that the, the tests are only around the corner. So yeah, there's been a... Um, a few little chats amongst players that you know things are getting serious now um you know with selection and things so yeah there's going to be a noticeable kind of edge to training you would imagine um in in the lead up to to wednesday's game to, to saturday's game um yeah i think since we've moved here i think the focus has definitely shifted a little bit towards you know the the, the more serious side of the tour which is uh which is exciting thanks both warren if i could just come to you please um Notice the 6-2 split on the bench. Is that a selection decision or is that forced upon you by injuries and possible isolations as well? Uh, given that, yeah, a little bit of both really. So uh, given that we didn't have um, Finn and Owen available to us, so we kind of took upon that. We've sort of had been pretty lucky with the forwards. Everyone's been available with the forwards and we wanted to rest uh, Duhan Van der Merwe in terms of he's had a couple of games and he felt like he needed a rest and there was a couple of players that have um, have been doubling up, you know, particularly with the midfield um, as well with Robbie Henshaw being out. So it's just kind of um, making sure we manage the players as, as well as we possibly can and uh, and get everyone, everyone fit um, coming up to this weekend so that they're in contention for, for test selection. Just lastly, from me, I know I know he's sat next to you, so I don't mean to make it awkward. But what do you want to see from your halfbacks on Wednesday night? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, lots of chat, uh, you know. Just um, um, I don't know how experienced Connor's been. It's been it's been hard, sort of, when we named him to take over from Alan Wynn as, as tour captain. You know, this is his first start, so he's had to sit and wait for a couple of games. And um, yeah, look, he just expecting him to be do what he does and he, he's always calm he's uh 
always very um, you know, error free. He's got a great kicking game, um, breakdown, good pass and stuff. So you know, incredibly experienced. So um, you know, I'm sh pretty sure that uh, given the challenge that we'll face with South Africa A and the strong team that they've put out, um, you know, he'll he'll do the things that he does well and lead by example in terms of the way he plays. And I think that's the most important message that that Connor will have. Thank you. Hey, Warren, um, would it be possible to get, um, you mentioned Owen there in his abdominal strain. Is Robbie Henshaw, is he in contention for, for Saturday? Yeah, he's, he's he back training. Sort of, um, he hasn't taken a full part in all the sessions, but he's back training. He's, uh, look, if it was something else, we could have pushed him for, for tomorrow evening, but we decided to make sure that he had a few extra days, and so he'll, he'll play on Saturday. Brilliant. And then just one for, for Connor, if that's okay. Hey Connor, uh, you must be delighted to get get the first part. Uh, Star, hope it all goes well at the weekend. Just just was looking at the you know as Owen was uh, with Owen and Finn being out there. Elliot Daly might be able to cover a bit of out half, but have you mentioned to Warren that you're more than and willing and able to step up if you're needed in that position? Uh, yeah, I think um, with the game just gone. Um, you know, you need to be quite adaptable in terms of um, being able to play multiple positions. So yeah. Um, in the lead up to the last game, my notebook on one side of it was filled of um, what what um, passages or, or positions to take up from ten and who to hit off starter play. So yeah, I've um, yeah, I have that um, in the back of my mind as well. I think you know with the with the Lions tour, you know anything can happen, and um, you know if you if you need to step in there, then it would be you know it'd be kind of uh, nice to do and, and you know you got to make sure you're prepared for um, a few eventualities so yeah um, I reminded him that I, that I played there a little bit in, in autumn um, um, and, and went okay but yeah uh, if, if it needs to happen then um, you know you, you need to be ready to step in so um, yeah the control line source control all sorts of um, curveballs especially this one um, with the way the things are in the world so um, yeah ready ready to go great stuff all right good luck cheers Yes. Uh, thank you, Jan de Kuning. Yeah, my first question will be for Connor, and then I'll have a second one for Warren. Uh, kind of uh, given what Warren said about the strength of the South African A team, how close to a test intensity will this be? I mean, given it's most likely to be your first real test on the tour. Yeah, I, th I think it's going to be pretty much a test match. Uh, if you look at their lineup, it's. Um, it's going to be a really intense game. Um, it's going to be a, a trial run for the tests, um, or almost a four test. So, yeah, like I said, once since we've arrived in Cape Town, I think players have have switched into a little bit more serious mode um, in terms of our prep and and the edge that we have in training. Um, and now, having seen the the South African A lineup, um, it's only going to sharpen our focus even more. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a real battle. So, yeah, it's it's almost like a four test for us. Um, you know, with, with the lineup that, that, that they've selected. So, um, you know, a massive challenge and, and, and you know, good prep for, for what's to come. Then for Warren. Uh, Warren, thanks. Uh, given that you said last week, you, you touched on the fact that uh, you suspect that the second and third test uh, might be in Cape Town as well. Has there been any confirmation of what's happening beyond uh, the Saturday's game or... No, I, I haven't had any. I haven't had any um, hundred percent confirmation yet. So just just waiting to hear from the, the South African side in terms of their organisation when they do confirm what what we're actually doing. So we know um, we're down here for the next three games, and then um, we'll just wait to see you know what happens whether we're back whether we're staying in the Cape Town region or whether we're going back up to Joburg. So just waiting to hear from them. Thank you very much. Hi, Warren. Hugh Godwin here. Um, yeah. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. You've mentioned the strength of, the, of this uh, South Africa A team. Um, before the tour, was this the kind of strength you were expecting them to put out in this fixture? And um, secondly, how, how ready do you feel to, to meet this challenge at this stage of your tour? Um, I probably wasn't expecting them to be as strong as they are. They, they're obviously shorter gains, but I'm absolutely delighted with the team they've put out because that helps our preparation immensely. So um, we'll kind of get a bit of a feel where we are and what things we need to work on in, in, the, in the 10 days sort of leading into the first test. So 
um, you know, I'm really pleased with that, with how strong that, that team is because it's, you know, even though it's a South African A, a game, we, it's going to be a tough challenge and everything's about winning the Test Series and, and preparing for that. And I keep keep referring back to 2009, um, you know, when we hit the the first Test, uh, we'd played under teams that were under strength in terms of the, not having the spring box and we weren't quite ready or we thought we were a little bit better prepared than we were, so um, so that's that's in the back of my mind. So the, the fact that I've seen that side will will get a good indication of where both teams are after Wednesday night's match. And and I don't know how likely this would be, but did they give you any heads up that they were going to pursue that after the uh, George match was called off last week? Uh, no, not really. But it's it's perfectly understandable because they feel like they're underdone and. And uh, they they'll need uh, a hit out or two, and what but what they look to do on Saturday, I'm not I'm not too sure, but I'm I'm presuming they'll be looking for a match on Saturday as well, with some of the other players in the squad that haven't uh, haven't played. Um, they'll feel that they've had you know the first game against Georgia where they probably uh, they were a little bit rusty, obviously, in, in the first half, and then they showed you know some of their, their strengths and, and and a lot of things that we're expecting them to be strong at in, in the test matches. Thanks, Warren. Cheers. Warren, um, sorry to throw things at you that are happening right now, but there's a press conference going on across ta- across town with Razi, and he said a few interesting things. He said um, Alan Wynn is set to join up with you in the next couple of days. Is, is that correct? There's a possibility he's, uh, he's he's back in training, so we're waiting for um, the medical reports from him to see to see what happens with that. He's also said he wants to play again on Saturday instead of the Stormers. Is that something you'd be up for, or is that is that a bit too much? Sorry, he, he, they want to play you again on Saturday instead of the Stormers. He wants another A game. Is that is that a bit too much? Uh, we won't be playing them again on Saturday. Okay, cool. Is Ronan Keller coming out or is, is anyone else coming out? Because there's a bit of talk back here that Ronan Keller is coming out. Uh, we're just going to make a decision on that. Uh, one of the discussions that we'd had with the South African management was that they were a little bit concerned that about front row cover, that if we did pick up some injuries, the, the fact that uh, players or replacement players would have to spend a number of days before they could join the squad officially. Um, so we're just looking at did we need cover at, at Hooker if we picked up an injury there and then picked up an injury in training? They were they were concerned that possibly a game could go down to uncontested scrum. So we might just look at making sure we've got some cover um, uh, in, the, in the front row in terms of that Hooker position. Thank you. Hi, Warren. Raman here from STV. Obviously, have got Chris Harrison is more familiar position at 13. I just wondered how much food for thought he's given you in terms of his performance at the weekend. At twelve, yeah, no, I thought he did. He, he did well, and obviously he hasn't played a, a huge amount at twelve, but uh, he's got a lot, nice try and, and backed up. He's to be, been defending strongly and carrying well. So, um, and the good thing about his game is he, he's been pretty much era free. So, look, he's definitely putting his hand up, and I think those three midfielders, um, it's been a little bit of a challenge for them because they've had to back up and and uh, with Robbie having that hamstring and. I know we've had Owen at 12 as well, so um, no, they've been fantastic in terms of um, the way that they've um, played and then been prepared to either back up the following game or sit on the bench, and we've, we've asked them to do that, and they've been brilliant. So, yeah, I thought Chris has, has done really well so far. Hey, Warren, just just uh, following up on the Alan Wynn thing, if, um, if he did come out, how much of a kind of a, a boost would it be just to have his presence in the camp? Oh, obviously, look, you know, a few weeks ago, we didn't think there was an, um, an option and uh, he's been back fully training with Wales. He's, he's training this week with them. I think he's doing a double session um, tomorrow with them and we'll just see what what, what the outcome of that is. So um, he has made a mark, remarkable um, recovery in terms of that injury, which the assessment was um, initially that it wasn't as bad as they first thought. So um, that's a real positive and, you know, it would be a boost to the squad having 
someone of his experience and, and caliber to come back into the into the squad. When do you need to make that call by? Probably tomorrow. Okay. Just seeing what happens with that. Yeah. Cool. Cheers.